Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Flaxbeard's Steam Power mod again. Uh, we're going to be looking at its uh, weaponry, uh, specifically the firearm. So the rifle musket, the blunderbuss, and the pistol musket. Um, but before we go down there, I've started in the boil room just to show you that I've had some, some little features. So I've added a uh, little uh, gauges here just to show me that this is pretty much full. Um, I've added a uh, steam whistle up there just in case if it gets too too much steam in there, it'll blow and then I'll be able to come down here and fix the issue before the whole thing explodes. I've added these valves in here just so I can shut off steam to our area so I can turn that on, turn it off again as you can see steam goes in. Um, this one over here releases steam so just in case I've got an emergency I can release the steam out into the outside world and prevent explosion. I've also run steam to other parts of the uh, place. Uh, over here I've created a little uh, storage room. I've noticed that the, some of these, um, I've got a lot of slimes up there and I'll explain why that in a moment. <laughs> uh, that some of these, like that's iron, that's tin, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think that might be aluminium but they look a little bit too close to give them this texture pack, so I might have to do something about that. Anyway, so onto the episode. I've created a whole new room which has slimes in it. Hello, slimes. Um, as you can see, they've got uh, targets down there, so this is essentially a shooting gallery. And I flick the switch, I can turn the targets on, or, or on now, off as before. Um, as with these slimes, I've got a little. Uh, slime plant factory, I mean farm, upstairs. So in case I don't want to just shoot normal targets, I can shoot some moving targets. Just as a demonstration and there's a slime there trying to kill me. That's because uh, I sort of didn't enclose the farm properly so yeah. I won't show you that because I don't want to be slime. Hey, you. Oh, what? There's more of you. How rude. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back in there into it. So, um, we've got, uh, these are the basic parts for all the weapons, right? So you've got wooden stocks, uh, iron barrels, a blunderbuss barrel, and flintlocks. So all the weapons are flintlocks. Um, you can change some of them so that they're not flintlocks. So if you know the difference between flintlock and, and, uh, oh, totally, well, well, you'll figure it out when I remember it later on. Anyway, so you're going to need a wooden barrel for uh, the blunderbuss and the musket rifle. You're going to need iron barrels for the musket rifle and the pistol. You're going to need a flintlock for each of them. Oh, did I? That's redstone. I totally didn't put enough redstone in there. Eh, it shouldn't be too hard to resolve. Redstone. Two, please. Doop doo doo. There we go. That's enough. Now it's three flintlocks, and of course you need two blunderbuss barrels for a blunderbuss. So let's go to an empty spot. These are some um, add-ons to the weapons that you can put on later on. So revolvers, uh, a makeshift silencer, uh, a breech add-on, and we'll go into that just after we make the rifles. So all of them will require a flintlock piece. The blunderbuss will require uh, the two blunderbuss barrels as such, and then you're going to need to put a barrel down the bottom. And you get a blunderbuss, like so. And for the rifle, similar design, with the iron barrels, so we get the flintlock. And then for the pistol, it's just the iron barrel and two pieces of wood. So if we just have a look what they look like. You basically right click to, to load. Actually, have I got any ammo? No, I don't. So, you right click to load and actually right click to fire. You essentially hold and release to fire. So, let's get some ammunition for these things. Not that one, this one. So, basically, iron nuggets, paper, and gunpowder. You can replace these iron nuggets with silver nuggets, uh, iron ore berries. Um, you can also use lead, silver. So, yeah. And you get two, so I'm going to make quite a few. 
So I'll just show you how these weapons work. Go the flintlock rifle first. Right click to load. As you can see it's fairly slow because it's a flintlock weapon. And you hear that click. It's loaded and then you just click. Right click. Hold down and then release to fire. And as you can see you get knocked back a bit. Um, it does do a fair bit of damage. The pistol on the other hand loads a little bit faster. Doesn't do as much damage. And enough to kill a slime though. And then the blunderbuss also will take the I think oh, it takes the same as the rifle or a little bit longer. But it's like a shotgun. It's essentially a shotgun, so Okay, so let's go look on to these uh, add-ons. So the first add-on you can get is essentially just a spyglass, so it's a couple brass plates and so and glass panels. And just to put them in, you essentially have an engineer's table, which is pretty simple to make. It's just an iron plate and some stone. Chuck the weapon in here, and then you get a square. And as you can see, a little bit of spyglass on it. Uh, note you can only use one upgrade uh, for each weapon. Some upgrades do not go on on all weapons, so some of them are just specific to the weapon. So if we just take that out, what the spyglass does is essentially oh, I've got to reload it. And it essentially zooms in a little bit, and the accuracy is better. So let's see if we can just shoot one of those targets down the end. But of course these guys are going to get in the way. Okay, I didn't even see where that hit. Okay, so let's see if we can take... I'm not quite sure um, which ones go on, so sometimes it's just a matter of... Uh, Seeing if it will fit inside the square, does not. I wonder, I doubt it will be fit in the pistol. Nope. So the pistol, I mean the rifle, the spyglass is only to the rifle. Okay. Let's move on to the next upgrade, which would be the bolt action. So it's an iron nuggets, iron plates, and some redstone. Once again, engineer's table. And I think this one should be fit in there. Yes, it does. And what the bolt action does is essentially um, speeds up the loading time. And as you can see, it's you see down the bottom on the uh, infantry bar, there's a secondary bar. And as it fills up, that's it loading. Okay, so let's see if that fits onto other weapons. Take it off. Does it fit on the blunderbuss? Maybe, no, yes it does. Okay, it fits on the blunderbuss. Does it fit onto the pistol? No, it does not. I have seen pistols in real life with a, a bolt action on them, um, but not, not very like, common or something. Okay, so let's go on to the next upgrade which is the recoil pad, which as you notice from all the shooting beforehand, what did I do? I was meant, meant to make that. Uh, um, okay, I'm pretty sure this one should work on all. No, it does not work on the rifle. Hmm, I'm assuming maybe it's just uh, the blunderbuss though. Let's see if that makes a difference. Is it loaded? Nope. Okay, and then, let's see. Eh, still a bit of a knockback, but not as much. Okay, let's see about the other ones. Let's take that off. Down there. Okay. No, this one. Okay, the next one. Which is the revolver chamber. So it's pretty much iron, iron nugget. So this works uh, similar to revolver pistols, of course. You get essentially six shots. You can fire and then you'd have to reload. So let's see if it goes on the rifle, which it probably won't. Nope. I'm not even gonna try the blunderbuss because that's insane. So basically put on the pistol and changes it to like a revolver type icon. And it does take a bit of time to load. Uh, slime, stop creeping me out. So essentially you can go bang. 
Bang. Bang. Okay, question is how many bullets I've got left? Okay, there's the reload. So you can get some quick succession shots out of it. Oh, slime seeds. Um, okay, so let's take that one out first. Put it back. And next one. So the next one is your breech loader. So if you don't know what the breech loader is, it's essentially... Um, normally the old flint locks, you'd have to put the ammunition into the barrel and the front. So essentially you have to almost point the gun at you to do it. Uh, and then push it down, so it just takes a long time to load it. The breech opens up a hole essentially on the other end of the barrel. So you can just push bullets into. Uh, similar to a, like a, a shotgun. So it doesn't want to work on a flintlock musket, a bit of blunderbuss. Nope. How about the pistol? Yes it does. Okay, so as you can see when we reload it, oh it's already got a bullet in it, of course. Oh. Okay, so it's still got six bullets in it from the uh, last upgrade. So we're gonna go through all them. Okay, so there you go, it loads much faster. What? Let us just see if. Uh, I just wanna check if the. No, it wasn't loaded. Just making sure that, the, uh, that you can put upgrades into loaded guns. So let's take the breach out of that one and go on to the next, which is the makeshift silencer. So you're probably wondering why do you need a silencer? So if you ever go into the uh, the Never and you've got uh, what are they called? Uh, zombie pigmen, yeah. So if you've got zombie pigmen right and you don't want them to go aggro on you, if you just want to kill one of them. This is where the makeshift suppressor comes into it. No, 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 the flint lock. I'm not even going to try the blonde boss because that's insane, of course. Okay, works on the pistol, and as you've got a little silencer on there, now it's called an assassin's flint lock pistol. It would be good if you could put, say, this upgrade and the revolver on it. Uh, maybe that's in future updates. Okay, let's load it up. Okay, so you can still hear the noise, but apparently, according to the book, uh, Zombie Penguin do not hear you coming. Let's see. Can I... Oh, actually, if I kill them, they might get small enough to come through the hole. So I won't do that. <laughs> I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you <coughs> want to ask any questions, let me know in the comments, um, if, if you could do me a big favour and like and subscribe, that would be awesome as well. I suppose until next time guys, Ready, aim, fire.